Who says that science can't take place outside of a lab? Here are some amazing science experiments that you can do at home. Kids only do this under the supervision of an adult. Amazing science experiments that you can do at home. Magnetic fluid. Ferrofluid is a magnetic fluid that you can make right at home. All you need is some vegetable oil, printer toner, and a rare earth magnet. Pour about 50 milliliters of the toner into a jar and then put in two tablespoons of the oil. Mix the two together so that it is a very thin consistency. Then grab your magnet and put it in the outside of the jar. You'll see the fluid react and form little spikes. Glow water. For this experiment, you'll need two to three highlighters, pliers, a measuring cup, tweezers, and a UV light. Fill a few glasses with some water, about two to three glasses, filling them about two thirds of the way. Then grab your highlighters and pliers and pull out the bottom of the pen and grab the highlighter ink with your tweezers. Set each ink tube inside the water and let it sit for about 30 minutes. Then take the ink tubes out. Grab your UV light and turn off the lights and you have glow water. Pasta rocket. With some uncooked ZD pasta, hydrogen peroxide, and yeast, you can create your own hybrid rocket. Using a canning jar about 1 8 of an inch hole, fill the jar with hydrogen peroxide and drop a quarter teaspoon of yeast. You'll see the mixture bubble. Don't screw the lid on. Do not screw the lid on. Place the ZD pasta on top of the hole and light it with a lighter. Because the yeast makes peroxide react and release pure oxygen gas, the flame will look like one that powers a hybrid rocket. Homemade Lava Lamp If you've always wanted a lava lamp but didn't want to put the money down, you can make something similar at home. All you need is some vegetable oil, water, food coloring, and salt. Pour the water into a glass, drop in some food coloring of your choice, and put in a few teaspoons of the vegetable oil. Since the oil is sitting on top, we have to make it move. Sprinkle some salt onto the mixture. The oil will start to move up and down just like a real lava lamp. Rock Candy Okay, so you're gonna need a clothespin, a wooden skewer, a cup of water, two to three cups of sugar, and a tall, narrow glass or jar. Pin the clothespin around the skewer and place it on top of the glass to make sure it fits. Boil the one cup of water, and once it starts bubbling, gradually add two to three cups of sugar until it dissolves. Once everything is dissolved, remove the solution from the heat and let it sit for about 20 minutes. Then, pour the solution into the glass and put the skewers inside, making sure it isn't touching the sides. Let everything cool once more and then set it aside. In three to seven days, sugar crystals will grow around the skewer and you'll have your very own rock candy. How does it work? As the sugar solution cools, the water and sugar separate and the sugar latches on to the skewer. Liquid art. Okay, so all you need is some dish soap and milk. Mix the two fluids together and the surface tension of the milk starts to break down. Throw in some food coloring and you're in for an art show right before your eyes as the colors start to move around. Instant ice. If you want to look like you're frozen from The Incredibles, then this experiment is definitely for you. First, you'll need 16.9 ounce bottles of purified water that have never been opened. Stick the bottle in the freezer for exactly 2 hours and 45 minutes. Grab a bottle and give it a hard hit with your knuckle. You'll see the water flash freeze before your eyes. If you don't want to stop there, then grab a dish with some ice at the bottom. Open your water bottle carefully and pour it out on top of the ice. The water crystallizes instantly. You can also put the water in a glass and drop an ice cube in the middle to freeze the whole glass. Turn water into wine. Water and wine have different densities. You'll need two wine glasses of the same size and a piece of plastic that is slightly bigger than the rim of each glass. Fill one glass with wine up to the brim and the other glass with water up to the brim. Place the piece of plastic over the glass and carefully turn the glass over. Did I mention this experiment is kinda messy? <laughs> Place the water glass brim to brim with the wine glass. Pull the plastic out a little and you'll start to see gravity work as the wine replaces the water. A floating orb! Grab a 1 inch PVC pipe that is about 24 inches long and about 6 strands of mylar tinsel. Tie the tinsel to one end, go down about 6 inches and tie the tinsel to the other end. Cut the extra tinsel. Then, grab your PVC pipe and rub it all over your hair, creating static electricity. Drop the tinsel into the pipe and now you have your very own floating tinsel orb. This entire experiment costs about 80 cents and it's absolutely ridiculous. Slime. 
You'll need water, borax, food coloring, white liquid glue, disposable cups, and a couple of spoons. Mix your water and a spoonful of borax together in one cup and set it aside. In the other cup, fill it with about one inch of the glue and mix it with three tablespoons of water. Add your food coloring to the glue mixture. Then add tablespoons of borax mixture to the glue mixture and you'll see your slime beginning to form. Let it sit for about 30 seconds and you can now take your slime out and play with it. Science is, and always will be, awesome. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider clicking a thumbs up and maybe even subscribing. Thanks.